Metroid, Zelda, Breath of the Wild 2, and the remakes. Um, trailers just for pre you know previously announced games. Maybe one more Mario Rabbids trailer. It says it's coming out a little less than a month now. I think it comes out the 10th of October. I'm always excited for these. 40 minute direct. That's exciting. Mm. Oh, I can't wait for the day that this message is no longer present. I'm convinced COVID fucked up the Zelda 35th anniversary stuff that they were gonna do. We live on the continent of Elios. Four realms surrounding a holy land at its center. What is this? Is this a sequel to something? What is this game? A thousand heroes known as emblems. With oh, it's fire. The warriors of our nations. That's what I kind of thought at first. In four. the end, we were. You look like a friendly dragon. Okay, that's cool. That's a big You're announcement, awake. I feel. Uh -huh. You're really awake, yeah? It is rather quiet, I know. This actually looks like a really fucking cool game. Like, I like the combat style. The time has come. Now, as one. I do think it's funny how they have these cool animations in the fight, and then when you see what happens on the board, the board is just like, pink. That's pretty, that's close. Was this announced beforehand? Did people know about this? In addition to the standard version, we'll also be releasing the Fire Emblem Engage Divine Edition, containing collectible items. I like how Nintendo still does this. Please. Oh, this is the rapid fire segment. It takes two to tango. Cody and May's relationship is on the rocks. But it gets even tougher when they're turned into dolls. To get their bodies back, they'll brave an onslaught of challenges where working together is the only way forward. Is this made by a, team up a kid and of with a friend in the two launches on the Nintendo Switch system November. I've heard about this game forever. I thought it was already out. Begin today on Nintendo eShop. This is Eno, a new hero. She appears to be uh, scary as mechanical? shit. She looks like one of Sid's toys. To have her join your I don't know why SpongeBob is going so Switch next year. in on video games lately. You're already fit. Box with familiar characters from Fist of the North Star. Oh, what is They'll this? be your instructors. It's the hard-hitting party game. Embrace the absurdity of frantic minigames, each one featuring ridiculous rules in madcap arenas. Customize your character from head to toe with I actually, I mean, I usually like games like this. Plus, challenge up to six friends. Well, if you have Mario Party, I mean, just put Mario Party. Play. Full remix of two front mission games are storming in. In Front Mission 1 Remake, you'll find giant machines over, called but Bonzers in it. Tactical Turn. Mission 1 Remake launches on Nintendo Switch this separate. November. Front Mission 2 Remake will launch on Nintendo Switch next year. And in the future, a remake of Front Mission 3 will also launch on Nintendo Switch. I'm just waiting to bundle them. I don't know. I doubt there's... I mean, it, they're going to be $60 game each. For a new generation. After nearly 20 years, a beloved farming experience is reborn. Story of seasons. Welcome back to Forgotten Valley. Here, you'll manage a farm passed down to you by your father. Is this the game that inspires Stardew Valley? Restore expand your farm as you nurture crops. What this Care game for is your friendly of? animals and help the land flourish. Befriend the townsfolk while you're out and about in the valley. You might even meet your future partner and start a family. Yes. So this is... In this installment, those around you will grow older as time goes on. What? Their appearances will change over the years. Your child will also choose their career based on how you raise them. That's cool. An especially wonderful farm life in Forgotten Valley lies ahead. 
Okay, that's actually really cool. I'm, I'm probably gonna end up trying this game out at some point. Story of Seasons: A Wonderful uh, Life launches on Nintendo Switch. Wait a while, but that cool as fuck. Square Enix presents. All right. Path Traveler 2. Whoa! Introducing a brand new game. This game was kind of big, wasn't Traveler it? For you know what it is. Eight new travelers. That's a big. I thought this is a big announcement. The land of Celestia, a farm. Cultivate your homestead and forge everlasting Another friendships farming in this game. farm simulation. Octopath Traveler. Live alive and okay. more will be released. That's 90 additional songs. Yeah, paid. Plus, cosmic adventure is yes, here we go. This is what I wanted to see. Last off on an adventure of galactic proportions. This I can't wait for. And the rabbits. Let's dive into exploration. Freely roam through all sorts of wondrous worlds, each one jam-packed with discoveries. That's what's wrong with the first one. I don't need crazy changes. Unlock hidden paths. About the locals with their troubles. At shops, you can get items that'll come in handy during battles. After each quest or battle, your team will earn rewards and get stronger. Sparks are here to lend a helping hand. Recruit up to 30 different sparks, each with their own special powers and skills. They can help. But it looks like it's getting better. Mario and the Rabbits put an end to the darkness. Of course. Mario plus Rabbits, Sparks of Hope launches oh, it's the on Nintendo Switch October 20th. That's what it is. are available now on Nintendo eShop. If I had money like that, I would. Gold Edition can also be pre-ordered, containing the base game, weapon skins, and a season pass. And I already got the, the base game. I don't think I need to buy that. Restore peace between humans Back to shit I don't care about. Rune Factory 3 returns on Nintendo Switch. More Nintendo 64 games. Cool, on this the is way. cool. I have the Nintendo 64 Pilot itself. 64. And if I'm ever doing a, uh, a video Party. on this channel about an N64 Mario game, Party it's going 2. to be the N64 game. I'll probably make Mario a video about this Party one day. Party. I'll probably do one on. Pokemon Stadium. I got other shit down here. Ocarina of Time, the the original Smash. Pokemon Stadium 2. Stadium is definitely one you gotta fucking like. That's that's a seller right there. Expansion pack membership. Oh, and there's one more game we should mention. Oh. -ho. With oh, okay. I see why that got its own announcement. Why not Daylight launches a Nintendo Switch later okay. today? Fuck. Kind of cool that they're having a game that they're releasing. Malfunction causes you to crash land, so keep them at bay. Mmm. Tutorial -hmm. launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. This is cool. That sounded cool. Fuck. A young girl named Ib visits an art museum with her parents in this 2D exploration adventure. This does not. She wanders through a busy gallery by the artist Guertena until one particular piece draws her in. Literally. Will she be able to safely return to her own world? Every decision affects her fate in Ib. Launching on Nintendo Switch in spring 2023. Ah, it's actually kind of cool, but it's not for me. There are Pauline, a physical powerhouse with fast movements and strong tackles. So Pauline, hello. That's my guy. Speedster with dazzling tech. The second free update launches. Throwing in my boy Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong is that's if Diddy Kong is in any game, that's what I'm playing. Launches on the Nintendo. That don't look like Zelda to me. <laughs> I'm I'm a I'm a single issue voter, bro. People thought this 
this pass was like, oh, okay, we don't need nine. We got this pass. Like, this is this is tracks we've already played. Like, is Diddy Kong in this game yet? That's all I give a fuck about. If he's not, this is a worthless ass game. Oh, dude, this is what I fucking want. Like, legit. If I get to do a full 18 go round, just by myself vibing out, that's worth the wait. Hello, it's been a while. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. The goat. I have a few things I'd like to share with you today, including some news. The goat. First, as you may have heard, the Super Mario Brothers animated movie we're developing with Chris Melodandri from Illumination will release next spring. We get a trailer? And Super Nintendo World, which is entering its second year at Universal Studios Japan, will also open in Hollywood, California, in the U.S. <gasps> Recently, we've been working on the finishing touches for both. I'm going to California! Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about Pikmin. Okay. It's been over 20 years since the first game, and we're still working on the series. Cool. This is Pikmin Bloom. It's a smart device game we started with Niantic late last year, in which players all over the world are planting flowers. That's cute. The experience you can enjoy just by taking it with you. I hope you'll try it out. Probably not. Okay, now to the main event. Please take a look at this. Is this a Mario trailer? No, what is this? Oh, more Pikmin probably. Yeah, that's cool. Again, like I said, it ain't for me, but like I know this 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 thing got fans. Is this it? Is that all we're getting? Concentrate on the core essence of Pikmin gameplay. I've heard that with everything he's done for Nintendo, Pikmin is his favorite property. Crazy. I hope you're all looking for. We got nine minutes, dude. If you ain't dropping nothing, Zelda, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be pissed. Take your dancing game to the next level. Is this what keeps Ubisoft afloat? Bring me up this and this and this. It, they, it ain't this. It ain't just dance, brother. Damn, bro. Can you survive the season of death? I don't give a fuck. As you cultivate a peaceful farm life in the village another of farming simulator the season end to the calamity in this life simulation RPG live simulation sure along the numerous dangers that don't look like life to me the truth of this ill launches on it I mean look I mean I guess it looks cool but it's too a point it's like damn another pharmacy and in the second confronted demons to wait is Bandit 3 already a thing now in this third installment She'll fight to protect the world from the sudden invasion of man-made bioweapons called homunculi. Oh yeah, I remember. My bad, my bad. This shit was already announced. She's gone from fighting for herself. I remember seeing this. Oh, it's next month. My bad. I was like, maybe Bayonetta 3. Yeah, no shit Bayonetta 3. A dark fantasy mystery abounds from the creators of Danganronpa. Oh. Never mind, my bad. <laughs> Welcome to the city of perpetual rain. Mommy, the spirit haunting him after their pact. Dive into these unsolved <laughs> I'm a little more intrigued. <laughs> detective agency. Launching first on the Nintendo Switch Okay, system, that's cool, I guess. Enter the village if you dare. Now on Switch. Switch, Ethan just goes through shit, don't he? This isn't his first game. Who cares? I mean, when these games have been out for a while, it's like, who gives a shit? It's an action-packed lineup of Nintendo Switch games. Is it really, though? We're about out. We're about done. How many games with Final Fantasy VII in the title have been released? Cool, an arcade game. Like, I don't, I don't care. Just get to something cool. Like I'm tired of these little bullshit headlines. I don't care, dude. It's, it's been 40 minutes. A Lego game. 
That might be cool. Oh my god, Fall Guys! Not for me, but Kirby's always a, always a W. To Dreamland Deluxe is coming to Nintendo Switch. And I know this isn't, this is not what they're going to end on, so I'm just waiting for the big end announcement, and hopefully it's fucking cool, it saves this direct. There's been some nice shit in here, it just needs a big thing for me to be like, fuck yeah, dude, that's what got me. Drink your fucking water. That's cool. Thank you for watching today's Nintendo Direct. What? This next trailer will be our last. Okay, dude. You Please fucking shaved yourself. <sighs> something cool. Please, something cool. Okay. I heard that little tone. I'm like, alright, no, I know what this is. Okay. New, like, tapestry? <laughs> seven little symbols. We might have seven dungeons. There's Zelda. Okay. Link in the sky. Can you just dive straight down to the ground? It looked like it. Whoa. Whoa. Are we getting a title? Oh! We got a title. It's some cool visuals. Shit to just eat up and tear through. <gasps> and a date! May 12th. Gosh. Okay. W. Fucking W. What were wins? What were wins? Breath of the Wild was an obvious win. What else for wins? Uh, for me, like personally, SpongeBob's cool. Uh, this game looked cool as shit. This little farming game, what was it called again? Story of Seasons. Uh, Octopath Traveler Two, win, definite win. Um, oh, I mean, it's coming out next month, but Mario Rabbids, win, definite win. Oh, fucking Nintendo 64s, the games they announced are all cool, especially fucking GoldenEye with online play. Um, oh, I mean, they pushed it back, which sucks, but golf coming out soon, that's a win, that's a definite win. This look cool. This like from the makers of Dang and Rope. Well, that look cool. Yeah, but then Breath of the Wild two trailer, Tears of the Kingdom. We got a name. All of those were wins. Um, I'll give this like a B plus. Yeah, I'll give this like a B plus. This is a good direct. This is a good direct. So, thank you for watching.